Hey everybody, Tino from PeaceLoveAndPitbulls.org with the PLP pack. My girl Shorty, Bandito, Mickey Mouse, Rocky, Buddy, and Boo Boo's over there chilling. The reason why they're all at attention, well they're always at attention because they're great dogs, but especially today is because today is a special day. Today is a special day. Today is Shorty's birthday. She is 13 years old and they all want a piece of her birthday bully stick and bone. I have actually bully sticks for them later. But this is a big deal, not just because she's 13 today, but because she was not supposed to be here. Meaning, on March 14th, 2015, the vet said that she had eight weeks to live. As you can see, she's still here. That was over two and a half years ago and she has made it to the beautiful age of 13. Here is the paperwork from the vet. The date, Sunday, March 14, 2000, Saturday, March 14, 2015. Here is the diagnosis, lymphoma. He said she had eight weeks to live. He said it was going to take her. Uh, and the reason she's still here is because of this cannabis oil. As you can see there, I've got syringes and uh, tinctures. Now, I'm making this video because Shorty's become a little bit of a celebrity. I mean, these guys were already famous because of the kissing booth, which I'll show you that picture right now. I'm gonna turn it on me. Um, this is what made them famous is the kissing booth and how we got up to over 400,000 followers on Facebook. Um, Peace Love and Pitbulls is a nonprofit 501c3 rescue advocacy and training so they were pretty uh famous already but now her story about her beating cancer with cannabis oil i get a lot of questions get a lot of messages how did you do it what did you do so i created a page called my dog beat cancer go to facebook you can find it from peace love and pitbulls or from the website but you, or you can just search in in the search engine, um, my dog beat cancer, and then in parentheses, canine cancer. So we recently got her blood test done because she's got a couple of cysts growing on her back that I wanted to get taken off. And I said, well, let's do the blood test. And I'm gonna read you what the blood test came back with two and a half years later. The lymphocytes test, she was at 17%. Normal is 12 to 30. Her white blood cell count 6.9, normal is 5.15. With lymphoma, you see much higher numbers than that, and she was at 6.9 uh, when the normal is 5 to 15. Her liver values were great, to quote the vet. And another quote was, her blood work came back as a dog who doesn't have cancer. She, or her blood work didn't look like a dog who has lymphoma, is what the vet said. So, I am here to spread the good news to shout from the rooftops of cannabis oil. From cannabis, by the way, not hemp. There's a lot of information out, about there, out there about hemp products and just the CBD. Now, I can't really comment on CBD from hemp about fighting cancer because we didn't go that route. But what I discovered and from our anecdotal evidence and what worked for us was cannabis oil from cannabis, not hemp. What we did was we did the FICO and the tincture. So as you can see here, the FICO, which is the full extract cannabis oil, is there's a CBD and there's a THC, which creates this thing called the entourage effect. You can Google that, or you can go to our Facebook page, My Dog Be Cancer, and there's an article that I posted on there more than a couple of times. And we have the tinctures. The tinctures are CBD, uh, are, are, are and infused with the uh, THC, and it's kind of like an easier dose throughout the day to keep the, uh, as I like to say it, the SEAL Team 6 fighting in the system. Because what you're doing when you're going with the CBD from the hemp is you're using the Coast Guard. Why wouldn't you use the trained killers, the special forces, when going after this disease? And that's what the THC and CBD from cannabis does. Also, we did the Dog Cancer Survival Guide by Dr. Damien Dressler. I highly recommend you download that book and I'm gonna, oh, I can't turn this around. Um, 
and he's big on staying positive. He's big on not feeding raw. That's uh, which kind of surprised me because I feed my dogs raw. And then when she got sick, he was like, his point was, why already stress an already taxed immune system, which means their stomach can handle stuff that ours can't, that would kill us. They can bury something, come back and, and eat it and they'll be fine. Well, if their body and their immune system is being challenged and they're fighting this horrible disease lymphoma, why would you put something in there to kind of dilute that energy? So, if there's any questions, if you have any questions of where, you, of where to get the oil, you can contact the guy that we uh, use named Jesse um, from OC Consultants. And uh, Jesse, I'll, I'll post his number in the uh, um, description. Um, but if you don't get it from Jesse, it's completely fine. It's okay if you don't get the cannabis oil from Jesse, but make sure that wherever you get it, that you're getting cannabis oil from Cannabis Not Hemp. Make sure it's from the flower and not the trim, the clippings, and um, make sure they're lab tested. OC Consultants is lab tested, um, and my girl is still here from Cannabis Oil, um, from Cannabis. Uh, Jesse's number, if you want it, is 626-890-0474. Again, I will post that in the description. You can join our Facebook page, My Dog Beat Cancer, and I hope this finds you well, and spread the news. Tell everybody, people, it works on people as well. It, not just four legs, two legs, anybody you know dealing with, and so many different other ailments, it's not just cancer. So, if you have any questions, call Jesse direct. He can help you, and uh, peace, love, and pit bulls. Sure. You ready for your birthday? You ready for your birthday? You ready for your birthday bully stick? You ready for your birthday bully stick? Not you, bandit. Not you, lunch mouth. Peace on pit bulls.